Hello everyone, uh, this is Artan Sheshmani from Harvard University's Center for Mathematical Sciences and Applications. Uh, I hope that all is well. As you can see, uh, I am sitting in my kitchen in my apartment in Cambridge. And uh, I hope that you guys are all uh, safe and sound and away from Corona and uh, yet uh, busy with mathematics. Um, as some of you know, I've been having the opportunity of teaching a course every year here at Harvard CMSA during the spring semesters, where I taught some of the advanced topics of research in mathematics, and uh, that uh, provided us the opportunity of having graduate students and postdocs and even faculty members coming to the discussions, and uh, we all learn from each other and discuss and uh, collaborate. Uh, for this year, in the spring of 2021, I am planning to uh, cover some of the material from the past and some new topics. So in the past, here at CMSA, we covered Donaldson-Thomas theory, gramo witten theory, geometric representation theory around Nakajima varieties, quantum cohomology, derived algebraic geometry. This year, we are going to teach a course uh, which is whose title is going to be Donaldson Thomas and Gramo Witten theories and its interactions and their interactions with birational and symplectic uh, invariants of algebraic varieties, and especially um, in complex dimension two. Uh, the way that the course is going to be planned is that it's going to take uh, it, it's a long lecture series. It's going to take a stretch all all the way to the summer and even into the summer. It probably ends by the end of the summer of 2021. Uh, so the half of the course is going to be covering ingredients uh, uh, from enumerative algebraic geometry of algebraic varieties. For instance, moduli space of curves on algebraic varieties, curve counting theories, gramo witten invariants, virtual fundamental classes, some of the constructions and some of the computations. And then there will be Donaldson Thomas invariants, moduli space of coherent sheaves on algebraic varieties, and uh, discussing about different flavors of DT invariants, uh, MNOP invariants, stable pair invariants, invariants of moduli space of torsion sheaves, uh, why are they important, what kind of properties these DT invariants have, modularity and integrality. Um, and then since, uh, as always has been the case, uh, theoretical physicists have joined us, we will, of course, have an eye through um, uh, theoretical physics and connections between algebraic geometry and quantum field theories. For instance, we will be definitely covering waffle witten invariants over non-compact Clavian threefolds and uh, kaposi witten theories on fourfolds. And uh, so we construct all of these and discuss all of these in the context of DT invariants of uh, modulized space of Korean sheaves on complex dimension 2, 3, and 4. We will discuss about fourfold theories, especially because it's very exciting and construction of virtual classes using draft algebraic geometry and even algebraic constructions, which has been very recent, in fact, activity in the field. Uh, after that, the second half of the course is going to uh, cover birational geometry of algebraic, ge uh, algebraic uh, varieties. For instance, uh, there are derived categories and uh, exceptional collections, phantom categories, um, free Mukai transforms um, and uh, flips and flops and uh, spherical objects, uh, what are the properties, autoequivalence of derived categories, and uh, we kind of try to cover these ingredients with, with which we can have some understanding of birational aspects of uh, algebraic varieties, and we will be focusing complex dimension too eventually. By summertime, uh, hopefully, we will be done with this segment and then we will start to make connections between the two halves of the course. So, for instance, we will tell, uh, we will make conjectures and statements on how birational invariance of algebraic surfaces can be related to invariance of modulus of sheaves on non-compact varieties which contain these algebraic compact surfaces as some kind of base of a vibration. For instance, uh, non-compact Calabria three-folds given by line bundles on surfaces, or non-compact Calabria four-folds given by rank two bundles on the surfaces, and so on and so forth. So we will discuss about how cyberic witten invariance and uh, DT invariance actually can capture some aspects of um, birational geometric aspects of uh, uh, algebraic surfaces, even some draft categorical aspects of algebraic surfaces. Um, the class is going to meet twice a week, and it's going to happen online on Zoom. 
and uh, everyone can have access to it. All you need to do is to come to the Harvard CMS's webpage and there will be a webpage for the course and you can click on the Zoom links and uh, uh, the videos will be recorded and uh, deposited in Harvard CMSA's webpage uh, and it remains there for, for later use. Uh, so I hope that um, you guys can uh, come and uh, no matter where you are and whether you are graduate students or interested postdoc or even faculty members so that we can all have the uh, opportunity of meeting and discussing and hopefully collaborating, uh, even improve new theorems even. Uh, so with that said, um, before saying goodbye, I would like to uh, sincerely thank the director of Harvard CMSA, Professor Shintan Yao, who has always been extremely uh, kindly supporting uh, our work in the Institute and our mathematical lives in the Institute and encouraging us to always gather and meet and discuss and uh, uh, as this is the most important aspect of mathematics that it happens through discussions and certainly it's the most uh, important feature of Harvard CMSA. Uh, so I uh, would like to say goodbye to you all now. Stay safe and uh, I hope that I uh, see you all in the spring of 2021.